Val says the hotel industry is an integral part of the Caribbean economy. But upon examination, he found many of the models to be outdated. And so I felt that we needed to um, have a model that really embraced things that are important to us as people, things that could have a positive imp impact on our society, and things that would overall set out a model that sought to change the hotel industry. Being Trinidadian, he says people often wonder why he chose St. Kitts instead of our own sister isle, Tobago. In response, he says he was looking for an island not yet fully developed in tourism. The OECS islands are much more dependent um, for the, their entire economy is dependent on tourism. So I felt that in, within the OECS there would be one more receptivity and two, it would have more impact, the model would have more impact. According to Val, art and culture play a pivotal role in sustainable development. He says it is imperative that regional heads of government spend more time and effort in longer term planning in all areas of the economy. He finds it unfortunate that our political model drives governments to make short term five year cycle decisions. I think that I think that an investment in art and culture is a very long-term affair. I think that I really believe that for society to develop sustainably and, and develop a sustainable future for itself, it needs to understand better who it, who it is as a society. We're a very young society in Trinidad. We have a long, long way to go before we have a deeper sense, a clear sense of who we are and where we're going as a people. He says we must seek to protect the unique facets of our culture from international globalization. I think arts, art and culture is treated as peripheral and our economy, particularly in Trinidad, is all around you know, oil and gas and heavy industries. Um, but that really doesn't lead us to, it, it takes us somewhere, but where? The question is where are we going as a people, where are we going as a society? What does the future look like in 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now? What, 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 what society will our children inherit? Asked to comment on the proposed development of a Sanders Resort in Tobago, Val says in many ways it's a good thing as the island's hotel industry has been struggling. However, he says he is not fond of the all-inclusive hotel model. I feel that the all-inclusive model seeks to create small islands of, of resort communities that are not connected with the broader community and society. What I encourage is a deep connection with this, the community and the society as a whole. So many times you find a guest visiting an all-inclusive tends not to engage with the communities, not, not to participate in the uh, economies of those communities, but rather just they paid their money into, into the resort, they stay there, they eat, they drink there, and they make a small foray out from time to time. He says we should seek to showcase our strengths. But I recommend high-value, low-volume tourism as against, for, particularly for Tobago, as against high volume, low value tourists. And I, I would like to encourage um, a plant, a type of tourist plant and product that encourages um, an experiential traveler rather than what we call the fly and flop guests, a guest that just wants to come and lie on the beach all day. Because Trinidad and Tobago have very unique attributes and, and I think the world hasn't really fully uh, un understood that as yet. Val is not convinced that we have sufficiently explored arts and culture. There's a traveler out there now that's looking for meaningful, authentic experiences. And they're, they're, the world is devoid of that because what they've done is they've sanitized, the, the tourism industry has sanitized itself and presents pretty much what people want, what they think people want to hear, rather than presenting who we really are. Commenting on his resort, Val says Ketishan Hill offers a unique experience and does not directly compete with any other resort. First of all, we're not on the beach. We're on the hillside location. We start at 500 feet and go up to 1,000 feet. Uh, Kittishan Hill is one large organic farm. We have one of the largest collections of tropical fruits and vegetables in the Caribbean planted in the wonderful soils that we have there. Kittishan Hill is one large organic farm. We have one of the largest collections of tropical fruits and vegetables in the Caribbean planted in the wonderful soils that we have there. And all our landscapes are what we call edible, edible or useful plants. So that when you come to Kittishan, it's a very, very different experience than going to a kind of beachside type resort. More than 90% of the food consumed in Senkits is imported. The passionate developer says they have managed to completely turn that around at Kittishan Hill as visitors to the resort are treated to an authentic and holistic Kittishan experience. It's about the people. It's about who we are as people. It's about our staff. It's about the, the farm that we have. It's about 
the food in, in Kittishan Hill, all the food that you eat, or almost all, I mean, more than 90% of it, ingredients are sourced from St. Kitts. Our architecture reflects those of the villages, of surrounding villages. It's not an imported architecture. Our architecture was drawn from the vernacular style of, of the of surrounding villages. And therefore, there's a sense of calmness, a sense of well-being. We found guests would come there and immediately calm down. Val says many visitors anticipate experiences that we as Caribbean natives often take for granted. And Dan, you'll be surprised at how, how many people come from North America or Europe and haven't even seen a banana tree growing bananas or a pineapple plant growing pineapples. Oh, wow. So they come and they're, they're like, oh, that's a pineapple. I, I didn't <laughs> know that pineapples grew. I thought they grew on trees. So, so you know, it's a wonderful experience for someone to fly in from New York and come and go and visit our farmers. They go and forage, they go and pick. It's amazing, you know, you have people coming and spending, you know, $600 US dollars a night for a room, and they're going with, with the farmers to pick avocados and mangoes. Guests enjoy going into the plant nursery and having breakfast as employees tell stories of their experiences in and around the island. Asked if he has given any consideration to the development of a similar resort here at home, Val says no moves have yet been made in that regard. He did say, however, that he has been in talks with representatives from the THA who are familiar with the work he has been doing regionally. I would always be happy to help in, uh, any government in the region um, with their strategic direction. Uh, I think there's a balance between what's commercially possible and what, um, what, it, what works and is sustainable. Um, my focus is always on the longer term sustainable um, elements. Kittishan Hill has welcomed m many heads of governments from around the region and we're always happy to share whatever our experiences, both good and bad, with, uh, with whoever because part of the mandate of Kittishan Hill is to help inform and, and help operate as a model for future developments in the region. Determined to develop a resort reminiscent of the island on which it was built, Val says he challenged the architects to take the architectural vernacular style of St. Kitts and distill it into a five-star hotel. So he took the elements of a chattel house, of the sugar factory, of Brimstone Hill, of different elements that exist around in the landscape of St. Kitts and he translated them into a five-star hotel experience. So that gives the place a grounding. The buildings are reflective of that you would see in a village. The construction of Kittishan Hill provided jobs to many persons on the island. But there's more than that. Because we built small um, low density buildings in Kittishan Hill, we are able to use the very small contractors who normally build their homes in the villages to build Kittishan Hill. We believe this is the first time that a large-scale resort in the OECS has been built using small local contractors, lots of them from the surrounding communities. And because of that, we, all the money that we spent in Kittishan Hill in the construction went straight back into the communities. Val says Kittishan Hill is about planting seeds. He strongly believes that in order for our history to be preserved, we should embark on projects, the results of which may not be evident in our lifetime. Dion Batiste, C News.